Hi, my dear, Karen here from ICanPeria.com. Today, super excited to share with you a three-part training on how healing money wounds changes your ability to make money. So first of all, money is not good or bad, it's just a resource. What makes it good or bad is how we choose to use it. Imagine fire. Fire can be used to destroy or it can also be part of an amazing experience where you enjoy some fun drums, super fun music, a cozy gathering, delicious marshmallows, delicious food, and it becomes a memory you remember fondly forever. It's not good or bad. What we associate with it depends on our past experiences. Someone that may have burned themselves as a child playing with matches became a little bit more fearful of fire than somebody who has great memories and associations from fires and being around cozy family and friends and having a great time through campfires and is probably the first one to light that fire when the opportunity shows up. When it comes to money, we have associations too that we've been collecting since we were this tiny. Now they're coming up to give us an opportunity to heal, to release, to forgive, to shift what no longer serves us, what's keeping us from what we truly want. Imagine a child that when he was six years old, let's call him Dan, got burned playing with matches and he became extremely fearful of fire. So he grew up being so afraid of fire that at 46, he does not use the kitchen stove or go to campfires. You're probably thinking he's probably missing out on a lot of fun and a lot of ease and delicious cooking, right? The same thing happened to some of us around money. If we experienced a lot of fear when we were young, maybe our parents were fighting a lot about money. We were feeling fearful of not having enough, that it was going to run out, that it was hard to get. Maybe we experienced a loved one being abused and not leaving the situation because they didn't have money. Maybe we have gone through some sort of trauma ourselves that made us blame money. Our childhood wounds created our money story. And although terrifying and completely unfair, in many cases, they're keeping us from experiencing the abundance that we desire and deserve. Just like Dan. In the next training tomorrow, we are going to discuss how we can start healing some of our money wounds and releasing some of our past associations so that we can step into a fresh space where we get to define the relationship we want to have with money so that we could start seeing it as a resource that is here to support us in fulfilling our purpose, in sharing your message, in doing what you came here to do. So tune in for part two of this three-part training that leads to the becoming a money-making badass soul program that I cannot wait to share more with you very soon. You deserve a life of abundance, period, non-negotiable. And you have the power to release any associations that are holding you back from it. And I am honored to guide you every step of the way in releasing every single block and creating the mind shifts that take you from, oh shit, how am I going to make money to a space where you know that you have access to all this abundance
abundance and you can unlock it. You can allow it or not. It's just why. Namaste.